long mill, 30 by 30, Mark II. Putting together a spoil board, I put a fence on it. Stick around and I'll show you how I did it. So the first thing I did was put a bit into the router and went to the extents of X and Y and just drew a sharp line right into my table. That gave me the extent of the table itself. It came out to 31 and 7 eighths by 34 and an eighth, I think. So I took that, those measurements and I put it in, into SketchUp and then I drew strips of wood along with uh, T-tracks and figured out how many at three and a quarter I could get in and then what these widths would be on the outside. So I did all that in SketchUp. So I took what was left over from the table, cut it into strips, and it just depends on how many uh, pieces of T-track you have and how close together you want the T-tracks. But I did mine at three and a quarter, and I had eight T-tracks. To make them nice and neat, I drew horizontal lines all the way down the board, and then I drew some vertical lines on all of them together. That way I put the holes in the exact same place on every board. I then took them over to my drill press and set a stop at exactly 3 eighths down for a countersink. So all these are countersunk to 3 eighths of an inch. It's basically the same depth as my T-track, so if my bit ever goes down that far, I've got more to worry about than just the screws. I wanted this thing to be as square as possible, so I took a lot of time lining up this first piece onto the line that I cut. It may not be square to the table, but it's definitely going to be square to the long mill. So I took my time, screwed that down, and then started alternating T-track, strip, T-track, strip. And by the time I got about halfway through, I realized that I probably needed to use something to pre-drill. The screws were actually not hitting the exact center. I have these self-centering drill bits that I use for hinges. These make your drills perfectly centered on your drill holes. I started using this to pre-drill. I would suggest getting one of these self-centering drill bits. This is not the only application for these. These come in handy a lot. Drawer slides, cabinet hardware, hinges, all kinds of things I use this for. I sanded all the bottoms of the MDF because the drill bit going all the way through made some rough edges. I ended up just hitting the bottom with 60 grit. Then it was time to surface it. And I have a massive half inch shank surfacing bit for slabs that I use on my, my big wind router. But I need something in the quarter inch. So I ordered one from CNC Labs and it's a 22 millimeter. It's just under an inch, but it works surprisingly well. I, was, I took the time and, and programmed something up in, in VCarve where the tool path went all the way around. Then I realized in G-Sender they have code for surfacing. So I just use that simple as a couple clicks. Once you put in the diameter of your bit, then it goes to town on your, on your board. It does a great job. I then took the last of my MDF from the table and made this fence. Two wider pieces will go in the corner here. In the top pieces, I went ahead and chamfered the edge. That way, dust and clippings can go underneath of it. That way, when you push your piece up against it, it's not going to be affected by sawdust. Sawdust will gather underneath of it. So I screwed down the top pieces just over the edge. This is a, as far as my router will go right here to cut. Just have to make sure it's over that edge so I can put a bit in and then square it up to the table. You'll see here in a minute. Okay, I put a quarter inch up cut end mill and I'll manually move it. And the beauty of having this chamfer, I don't have to worry about hitting my spoil board. Now I'll just manually I'll move the y-axis. I think I'll do it one, one more time and then go across the X. Cut it in further, that way your corners can fit in like that. So now when I bring over a piece I'm working on, throw it in here, whether it's a cutting board, a chess board, now I can use this to help me clamp it, and I know that it's square to the table. Huge bonus. A fence to me was one of the first things I wanted to put on the CNC machines. Thanks for sticking around. If this helped you in any way, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks.